don't know what you're telling right? Yeah. <laughs> Send me another girl. <laughs> You you got a little rhythm rhythm going with your partner, and just that infuse your hands with some energy. But try not to make it get big. Try to keep that energy. I think you know there's a there's a tremendous amount of energy in, in all of us, um, but we tend we tend to not be in touch with it at all, or it stagnates in these different places, you know. And if you spend a little bit of time like thinking about the distance between you know, the tip of your finger and this first joint, you know, and you try to make that longer, just the very act of trying to do that activates something, you know, or just the effort to try to do something that's impossible, it has like a, its own after effect, you know. But don't lose the energy, as though you're making that really big clap, like you have big blocks on your hands. Well, visualizing something gets, gets you to, to do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do with your body. If I said move your you know, elbow you know, above your head, I mean, that's a really didactic way of thinking about being in your body. But if I tell you that there's you know, a helium balloon tied to a string to your elbow, you're gonna move it in a totally different way. You know, if you start to imagine you know, that you're like spinning a hula hoop, a tiny hula hoop around your ring finger, and then you imagine that it gets a, bit, a lot bigger and it's a lot heavier and you change the material, that it's made out of, I mean, all of those things, just, you know, you never sit around and spin your little finger, you know what I mean? You, you wouldn't do that. But by engaging in a visualization or, and embodying that, most people don't even like put their hands above their heads. I mean, most people spend the entire day like either sitting or lying down or standing up. Miss Mary, It's pretty easy, right? <laughs> Now find a third person and join your shit. <laughs> the fine line between really believing whether you're doing one of these ridiculous things or not makes all the difference. You know, if you kind of are sort of doing it, if you're kind of following it along just to sort of go through the motions, I mean, that's the same difference between getting on stage and kind of sort of performing or not. You know, kind of sort of singing. You have to be 100%. I think that it's the absurdity of it and, and, and the impossibility of doing a lot of the things that we try to do that allow people to let go of their judgment, allow them to just be free and to get to a place that, you know, they probably wouldn't allow themselves to go.